labaru akan al'amuran yau da kullum unity tv murya cikin na jama'a masu kallon tashar unity tv assalamu alaikum barka mu da kasancewar har da ku a daidai wannan lokaci da muke kamu ku labaran duniya da farko ga muhimman kanun su a cikin labaran namu za ku cewa kamfanin mai na najeriya ya kamu wani makeken jirgin ruwa makara da litan mai 1800 a gefe guda kuwa uwar gidan shugaban kasa Remi Tinubu ta musanta rahotannin da ke cewa ta bayar da umarnin rufe majami'ar fadar shugaban kasa a labaran ketare Tunisia ta dakatar da albashin malamai sama da 1017 saboda matsin tattalin arziki daga shi muna dauke da rahoton wasanni inda za ku cewa Manchester United ta kayyade fan miliyan 50 kan magoe to kanin labaran na miki ne yanzu kuma ga cikakkun su tare da ni Hadiza Ahmad Hassan kamfanin mai na Najeriya NNPCL ya cafke wani makeken jirgin ruwa makar da litar dan yamman petro sama da 800 da aka sace shi daga kasar aka kuma nufi kasar kamar da shi bayanai sun ce an kama jirgin ne ranar 7 ga hotan yulin da muke ciki Wadda yake jawabin shugaban sashen hulɗa da jama'a na kamfanin NNPCL Mr. Garba Muhammad ya ce binciken farko farko da suka gudanar sun gano cewa an sato dan yamman ne daga wani sashi na Najeriya amma jirgin ya taso ne daga jihar Ondo Do uwar gidan shugaban kasa Senator Olure Mitinubu ta ƙaryata rahoton da ke ikrarin cewa ta bayar da umarnin rufe dakin ibada na Aso Rock Chapel da ke fadar shugaban kasa a Abuja. Uwar gidan shugaban kasa ta bayyana hakan ne cikin wata sanarwa da mai bata shawara ta musamman kan harkokin yada labarai Bishop Lakukoyi ta fitar ta ce babu lokacin da uwar gidan shugaban kasa ta bayar da wannan umarni inda ta ƙara da cewa dakin ibadan na ci gaba da aiki saboda har yanzu akwai taron tattauna na mako mako da ake yi a cikin sa sai dai har yanzu rahotanni sun ce shugaban kasa bai nada wani limamin cocin ba bayan fucewar limamin cocin na ƙarshe to kungiyar kare hakkin bil adama ta amnesty ta cire tallafin ta ce cire tallafin man petrol ba tare da matakan rage radadi ga talakawa ba zai jefa akasarin jama'a cikin karin kuncin talauci kungiyar ta amnesty ta kuma ce rayuwar talakawa za ta iya tsaya cek matakar gwamnati bata cika alƙawarin samun da hanyoyin sauki ba ga yan kasa duni dai kayan masarufi suka yi tashin goren zabi musamman dan yadda su fike shafar rayuwar tattalin arzikin kasa Director kungiyar na Amnesty a Nigeria Issa Sunusi ya ce sun lura duk muhimman sassan rayuwar yan Nigeria na da alaka da man Peter a yanzu dai al'umman Nigeria na jiran alƙawarin da shugaba Tinubu yayi kan cewa za a tura kudin tallafin zuwa wasu bangarori masu amfani ga kasa da ofishin jakadancin Amurka dake Abuja da Lagos sun gudanar da wani cost na wayar da kan daruruwan daliban Nigeria da kasuka suka sami guraben karatu a jami'o'i da kwalejin Amurka kimanin daliban Nigeria 700 ne suka samu guraben karatu a Amurka a wani shirin ba da tallafin karatu na gwamnatin ta Amurka mai suna Education USA da ake saran nan gaba kadan za su tashi dan tafiya kasa Amurka Education USA wani shirin ma'aikatar harkokin wajen Amurka ne da ke mara wuce biyoyi 430 da daliban kasashen duniya samun guraben karatu da ma ba da tallafin karatun ga ƴaƴan talakawa Jami'an diplomasiyar Amurka sun yi fatan daliban Najeriya da ake sa ran su zama manya gobe za su taimaka wajen bunkasawa da kuma ci gaban kasar su a nan gaba to a jihar Kebi gwamnatin jihar Nasiru Idris ya sauke mai bashi shawara na musamman kan harkokin matasa Alhaji Babangida Sarki daga nadin da yayi masa akan wani rubutu da ya wallafa a shafukan sa da zumunta hakan na dauke ne cikin wata sanarwa da mai dauke da sa hannun babban sakataren yada labaran gwamnatin Ahmad Idris a ranar Litinin a ce wasu sanarwan gwamnatin wanda ya fusata da al'amarin ya ce mai taimaka masa ya kamata ya kasance mai kyakkyawar dabi'a da zaman takewar al'umma Kebi 
Sakatarin ya ce gwamnatin ya gargadi dukkan jami'an jihar da su guje yin irin wannan rubuce rubuce na rashin kunya a shafi kansu na sada zumunta da sauran wuraren taron jama'a har wayo Idris yayi alƙawarin cewa gwamnatin sa ba za ta lamunci duk wani abu dake bata tarbiya da mutuncin mutanen jihar ke bi ba to a jihar Kano kuwa gwamnati Abba Kabir Yusuf ya nada malamin addinin musulunci nan Sheikh Aminu Ibrahim Daurawa shugabancin hukumar Hizbata Jihar. A bayan da Sheikh Daurawa ya taba jagoranta hukumar Hasso Biyu a zamanin mulkin tsohon gwamnatin Jihar Rabi'u Musa Fankwaso da kuma farkon mulkin tsohon gwamnati Abdullahi Umar Ganduje. Sai dai a shekara ta 2018 Daurawa ya sanar da ajiye mukamin lokacin da aka samu sabani tsakanin Fankwaso da Ganduje. Amma a ranar litinin malamin ya wallafa wani bidiyo da ya nuna shi yana karbar takardar sake nada shi shugabancin hukumar a Karo na uku daga sakataren gwamnatin jihar Dr. Baffa Abdullahi Bici. To yanzu kuma sai mu je ga labaran kitare. Mahukunta a kasar Tunisia sun dakatar da biyan albashin malaman makaranta 1017 tare da korar wasu shugabannin makarantu 350. Matakin da ke zuwa a wani yanayi da matsalolin tattalin arziki suka dabaibaye kasar ta arewacin Afirka. Wannan mataki na gwamnatin dai ya shafi a kalla kaso 1.3 na daukacin malaman makarantu dake kasar Tunisia. Cikin dalilan da gwamnatin ta Tunisia ta bayar sun hadar da mummunan koma bayan da tattalin arzikin kasar ke fuskanta da tilasta gaza iya daukar nauyin malaman. A labaran ƙetare kuwa Manchester United ta kayyade fan miliyan 50 kan duk wata kungiyar da ke son sayen dan wasan ta hari ma goye mai shekaru 30 har wayo ana samun cigaba a tattaunawar sayen mai tsaran raga na kasar Kamaru Andrew and Onana kan fan miliyan 43 daga Inter Milan zuwa Manchester United kuma babu mamaki komai ya kammalu a wannan makon a gefe guda kuwa Al-Hilal ta fada Manchester City cewa a shirye take tafiya fan miliyan 60 kan dan wasan Portugal mai buga Zakia Bernardo Silva yayin da Inter Milan na shirin kara kudin ta yi da ta gabatar kan dan wasan Chelsea da Belgium Romelu Lukaku mai shekaru 30 kan fan miliyan 23 amma Chelsea na san miliyan 40 to duka duka da wannan rahoto na wasanni muka kawo karshen labaran namu ne yau amma kafin mu yi sallama da ku kada kuma ta za ku iya ci gaba da bibiya kaitattun shirye-shiryenmu da kafa fan sada zuman ta da suka hada Facebook, Instagram, YouTube da sauran su duka a Unity FM TV to a madadin kowa da kowa musamman Bashir Musa da ya tace labaran sai ni Hadiza Ahmad Hassan da na karanto nake cewa ku ci gaba da kasancewa da tashar hadin kan al'umma Unity TV murya cikin nazari bis salam I was the head boy in my primary school, senior prefect and best graduating student in my secondary school. But drug abuse almost ruined my life. I was on an average of two grams of cocaine per day. I was taking eight amples of pentazosine daily. European shisha, cocaine. I became a user, a dealer and a gangster. I saw other users drowning. I knew I didn't want to be like them, but I was already trapped. My family disowned me. My employment was terminated. I sold my car, sold my house. I'll go out well-dressed and return shoeless, shirtless in exchange for drugs. I was seeing things that were not real and I won't stab myself because I felt something crawling under my skin. I contacted NDLA and started therapy. I spent three months in therapy. I spent eight months. It's easy to relapse, but your mind has to be stronger than the cravings. Drugs are does not love you. You are not the one using drugs. Drugs are the one using you. Say no to drug abuse. La Baran Junior. La Baru that the Mutamans. Bab Bangaranch. Chicken Gidad. Kasashan Watch.